You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got yeah. it on your mind, pop to get it it's off your chest. You got it on your Everybody used to get it off your chest podcast, episode 32. I am your boy CJ. I'm going to let the fellas and the ladies introduce themselves. Come on, fellas. What it is, y'all? It's your host, Terry. Get it off your chest podcast, man. Episode 32, about to get it cracking. Let's get it. Yo, what up, y'all? This is Ryan. It's nice to have y'all back again for another episode doing this. About to have another banger out here for y'all. Oh, another one. What's good? It's your boy, Mike Rhino. Episode 32, another banger. <laughs> and keep making fun of me. It's all good. It's all good. We like that. We like that. Now, today, as you can see, we got another guest in the building. We got the lovely lady in the building. How about you go ahead and introduce yourself? Dang, audio. I can't hear you. <laughs> can you hear me now? Now we can. Audio cut out. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My name is Ashley, and I'm just excited to be here today. Okay. Well, thanks okay. for joining okay. us. Thanks for being Thank here with you. us Thank today, you. Ashley. Thanks. Before we get into the Beyond Your Chest podcast, it's presented to you by TheBlackGent.com. Let me say that again, TheBlackGent.com. First of all, they can serve all your grooming needs. Some of you niggas need, they got that beard oil. Some of you niggas need to go, yeah, your beard's looking rough. Your beard's looking rough. TheBlackGent.com will get you some of that beard oil. You want company for the man and woman with the black women and men in mind. Let's get it, cuz. Hey man, they got some go. Hey, they got some soaps on there, some and all that. Everything is natural, so go definitely check it out. That's www. Do anybody even use www dot anymore? Nah, that shit, I don't feel. <laughs> nah, ah, shit. Blackgen.com. Go check them out, man. Matter of fact, pause the video. Go check out blackgen.com right now. And y'all know how this go, man. We get shit off our chest. Whether it's been a day, a week, a month, a year, however the fuck we feel like getting off our chest, we gonna get off our chest because we don't give a. Woo. I keep forgetting to lick my lip when I do that shit, man. Damn. Be you have that white lip every time. <laughs> but right now, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment below if there's some questions that we covered in the last episode or we covering today that y'all got questions on or y'all want us to know what y'all feel like. Put it in the topic. I mean, put it in the comments down below, man. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all know how it go. Well, let's get it going, man. How we start this all the time. How y'all feeling today on this wonderful, wonderful Wednesday? Feeling How y'all doing? Good. Feeling good, as you can tell. But, hey, real quick, though. I mean, make sure y'all go hit that damn like button, man. Y'all y'all looking at it, but y'all ain't hitting them like. Man, hit the likes, man. You know? Locking out there. Hit, the hit that damn like button. I'm taking them two like. seconds. Hit that like. Oh, right there. Spread the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? We, we Everybody want to see us? Y'all love us, right? <laughs> y'all fuck with us, right? Y'all got love for now. <laughs> hit that like button. Y'all love for me? You got love for me. Hell yeah, man. But how y'all doing, man? Let's get into it. Yeah, man, I'm cool. You know, spent the whole day with you like always. It's always enjoyable. I mean, you got to stop saying it like that, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just saying this just so everybody can see my face. Just say we was at work, man. Say we was at work, man. He was, was being an asshole. Time together all the time. Deal with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. No, nah, man, it was cool with your day at work. I mean, didn't do too much. I went a little shopping after work. I mean, I'm home. Here to do the show with y'all. About to make it a good one. We got Ashley here. About to turn up. That's what's up, man. Right now. Today was cool. I was living in a movie with all the fires going around, all the smoke in the air. But other than that, I had a good day at work. Hey, you right about that. That shit definitely looked like a movie. Well, I seen this. I didn't know that was full of fires, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. He was like, the That's world crazy. is ending. I was like, damn. <laughs> Is the air thick though? Like, can you? You can still it breathe, breathe it. It's not hard to breathe. It's you can still breathe it, but it's just the sky is just ugly. Like, has stuff calmed down at all? Uh, nah, it was stay the same. Hey, boy, I'll be feeling bad for y'all. Y'all get everything: earthquakes, fires. Dude, Maybe y'all don't get it's like tornadoes. Y'all get hurricanes. We'll, we'll, we'll get tornadoes <laughs> or hurricanes though. Oh, y'all yeah, get hurricanes. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, this we'll shit. fires. <laughs> fires worse enough, it's, man. Shit. Hey man, I get mudslides and shit, landslides. Mm. Somewhat. Depending on the area. Yeah. <laughs> north. That's more than north. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Fire is worse. Fire is bad. Yeah. Well, fire How are you doing today, fire. Ashley? How's it going? Did that audio go again? There you go. Hi. 
I think you'd be falling asleep or something. That audio be falling asleep. Um, I had a good day. I've been in meetings all day, so I didn't have to actually do any work. And I got some crab legs and some shrimp that I had for dinner. So oh, it was man. a nice way to end it. <laughs> oh, man. They don't want to do the mukbang with me. Okay. I want to do lobster tails, crab <laughs> legs, scallops, crawfish, corn, oh, potatoes. They don't want to do it. Look at them. I'll do it universally, but I don't want to listen to you eat. I yeah, want to smack. Like, I don't hey. want to see you or listen to you eat either. I would like to eat the food, though. Hey, people be talking about the mukbangs. R&B music in the background. Hell yeah. Shots, Slow like, jams. They're slurping and shit all around. Smacking on a big-ass potato. You. <laughs> Oh, you hear is R. Kelly in the background. She said, I don't, I don't mind it. <laughs> said, I want to do, I do want to do one though. Like I'll be watching everybody do their mukbangs and stuff. Mukbang, I don't know how they say it, but they be doing it. And it's, you be listening to it. You be like, man, don't nobody want to sit there and watch a motherfucker eat. But then you watching and you like, Wish I was you. kind of satisfying. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> like what they got? Oh man, double, triple cheeseburger. They dipping it in cheese. Oh, I just had a fat person moment. See, like when I I've watched that stuff like nah, twice, hungry. and it's like it makes me want to eat that food, but I don't want to watch you eat the food that I can't have right now. Ron, let's do it together. No, just, just me and you. I'm gonna be off camera eating. Damn, man. <laughs> well, you can film me then. I want to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get ASMR it up, man. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna just get the whole bro. tripod set up. I'm gonna sit behind the camera and I'm gonna eat, and you do your thing. Right, cool. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good with that. We are gonna have to do our own mukbang. Hey man, I'll cook it. I'll cook it up. Yeah. yeah, Chef Ron over there. Rhino, you fire. can do it too. No, you probably got some cheap seafood there. over there, don't you? I know, right? Don't, don't, don't you got some bomb <laughs> seafood? seafood ain't cheap. We got bomb seafood, but, but it ain't cheap. Shit ain't cheap. It's like twenty nine, twenty nine dollars a pound. What is at least. cheap in LA? Like, what is cheap? I mean, in California, nothing. Everything is half a million dollars. Everything. <laughs> you want to get your Uber, half a million dollars. You want to go buy a surfboard, half a million dollars. Everything's expensive down there, man. Hey, man, watching, uh, what was that? Snowfall that you put me up on? Watching that. And they had to take a whole eight-hour car trip from North California to South California. The fucking like, state is huge, man. This, man. Damn state. That is fucking long, man. It's huge. It's like an eight-hour drive. Say you're two gonna... states away if you're coming from, like, us. Like, gotta... everything is 30 minutes away from here. No matter where you at in the city, thirty. Wait, minutes. so where's the Santa Monica Pier located? Santa Monica. It's, in, it's, it's South California. It's South Southern. California. Mm-hmm. So how far are you from the Santa Monica Pier? Eight hours. It's God Southern California. Damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Shit, we want to go to the St. Louis Arch. That's like three hours. We right there, yeah, that's man. That's doable. That's doable, but right here, nah, here. Well, because eight I'm hours. Oh, you good? Like we said. Okay. Like when he said, we'll drive to Vegas. I was like, like yeah, that's like a 16 hour drive. From, yeah, from Richmond to like, Vegas? Hey. Mm-hmm. Shit, it's two days for us, I think. <laughs> that <laughs> I was play, I, up, but yeah. I just can't go through no mountains, bro. I can't be looking over the edge and all you see is cliff. Uh, Hell no, nah, I'm good. You up north, thank you. That's why it's so long for you. Because it's like mm-hmm. a four hour drop in Cal- from uh, LA. No, that's not four. It's eight, at least eight hours. Right on a gangster, bro. He, 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 he by the way. Hey man, riding with CJ was one of the scariest moments in my car. Okay, he's <laughs> driving hella fast, dude. Riding where? You say riding? He was in another going to Branson. He was driving through the fucking woods all crazy at night. Oh uh, uh, man, <laughs> I thought we was gonna fucking die. He was in the middle of fucking nowhere with no lights. They didn't have no lights, no street lights. We just driving <laughs> through the get woods. The fuck out of there. Oh, it was fun though. We had fun in Branson. Yeah. That's not really like out of town, but we still had fun though. So but- fun. Let's get into it, man. We got some hot topics for y'all, man. We about to get it going. Since we got Miss Ashley in the building, we have a woman's perspective. I repeat, we have a woman's perspective today. I know everybody be getting on us when we be talking about these topics. They be like, man, my auntie hit me up. She was like, it was good, nephew, but y'all got a woman's perspective. I was like, auntie, we gonna have a woman's perspective on some of these questions. So let's get into it. Uh, Covering one of the questions that we did go through, um, episode 31 was... It was a scenario that Cuzzo had for us. Cuz you want to repeat that scenario for us? Cause Miss Ashley had a story that she wanted to tell. Yeah. Oh, um, about uh, you know, you mean you before you met your spouse, uh, well for us, you your spouse or your husband or whatever, um, you know, you was out doing your thing, moving the groove and sticking to moving. Uh 
five, six years later down the road, you run into them one of them women that you, uh, I'm paraphrasing, that you uh, have one of the flings with, and they come to you saying that you got a child. You know? And then you go get a DNA test, and the test comes back that it's actually your child. You know, how would you present it to your spouse? You know what I'm saying? Oh. I actually dealt with this in that situation. I dated this guy. We were in the beginning stage, like a month or two in, and he randomly called me and was like, hey, I have to make a trip to DC. I was living back down south at the time, and I didn't know what it was for, and he's like, I think I might have a baby. So um, long story short, though, uh, this girl that he had been dealing with some time ago had a four-year-old, and it turned out to be his. A whole four, four year old, four, four years wow. old. Yes, we we're two months in, and he already has a five year old at the time. Oh, he been out there, man. <laughs> so <laughs> he was grooving. <laughs> so, the, so the question, so the question I have for you is, how did you feel when you found out? Um, it was a lot because he was probably the first man that I dated that had such an older child, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, so it required a lot more attention on my part. Uh, and then to make that two was a lot to take in, especially so early in the relationship. But as y'all had previously stated in your podcast, it was prior to me. And I couldn't really hold him at fault. He didn't know anything about it until four years later. Um, so it was just something I had to either deal with or leave. And I decided to stay for the time being. Oh, okay. And you there think was he would no... have been fine if you told him you weren't okay with being a mom to two older kids? Well, at the end of the day, I was nobody's mother. <laughs> but, I mean, um, you can step on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would actually have been fine with that because I don't want kids of my own. Um, but yeah. he did give me the option, mm -hmm. and I chose to stay. Okay. Well, you, you, said you, man. You, said, you said you do not want kids of your own? I don't. I don't. I'm scared of being pregnant, so. Oh, I'm, everybody man. wants kids, Steve. Oh man! Well, she says she's scared of being pregnant, so that's. See, so like it... from from their side, their bodies change like crazy. Like we don't got to go through that shit. Hey man, I know about women, motherfucker. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, I, mean, I got three kids. Oh, you all know about women shit. being pregnant. Hey man, I got one too. <laughs> anyway, fucking jerk. <laughs> <laughs> no, here. no, I wanted to I wanted to ask you though cuz cuz you're right though. You're right. Everybody don't want kids. And I think we talked about that, you know, when we was talking about this situation as well, but um is that the only reason why you don't want kids cuz you're scared of being pregnant? I the main one. But I also um I feel like there's a lot of children in the world that need someone to love them, especially black children mm. that don't have all the attention and the love that they deserve. Um, and I'd rather devote my time to someone who's already here that needs it versus tearing up my own body to do it. Right. Um, so that's just kind of where my head's always been since I was young. I don't really have a desire to have a, a mini me, but I've decided a long time ago that if my husband to be wants to have a seat of his own, then I will bless him with such, but I don't know if I could do more than one, but that's still the, I still want to adopt either way. That's still pretty fair. Yeah, I mean, did, so would you be open to um, adoption? Yeah. She just said that. Oh, damn. I didn't, on, I didn't catch that part. <laughs> I was focused on that question, and it was like, shit, I thought I heard it, but I didn't. Hold on, cuz, let me ask this. So, say you do got a, you, you do got a husband, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have, say you don't you just change, like, I don't want to have children, period. If what they call it with somebody else? Like, would you? Sign uh, surrogate. Yeah. I'm going to say you significant. Surrogate. Oh, surrogate. Would, you surrogate. <laughs> would you do a surrogate? Probably. Would you? Would you also be open to polygamy? No. Y'all got this other woman. This is going Y'all got this other uh -uh. woman. No. <laughs> this is children. Like, okay, you don't want to have children. You still, you know what I'm saying? I'm wrong. Top dog with. You don't want to destroy your body. So he's like, okay, we can add this other woman. And we can have children. It's still about children. You know, would you do that? Or would you just do the surrogate? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so the surrogate plus more is what you're saying. We want the surrogate, but she also yeah. won't be. DJ be trying to come up with some loopholes. Mm -hmm. hey, was... <laughs> I'm completely, in a perfect world, I would love to have a surrogate. 
because then it would look like me and my husband about me mm -hmm. having to, you know, go through the blessing that is pregnancy. Um, but yeah, so, so surrogate, yes, polygamy, no, no, no. <laughs> no polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you, what do you, from, from your perspective, what do you feel is wrong with polygamy? One, it's, it's already difficult being in a relationship of two. And to expand that to how many ever people you choose to do, I think just makes things even more complicated. Because, I mean, theoretically, I would love to have multiple men in my life, but I don't have the energy for all that. And then having to remember who's, whose favorite is this and what this person needs. And if I had a long day at work, I can't have even two out of the five coming at me about whatever it may be, especially if we have children. So it's just, it's just a lot. Um, but again, all the emotions that come into that, and then it's just a lot to work out. And I don't want to share, to be truly honest. I just there you go. There you go. I told y'all, don't nobody want to share, man. That's what yeah, it comes down like, to. <laughs> if I was into it, I don't feel like my man would be into it. Because yeah. it's rare to find that combination. Because even if I came on board, I highly doubt that my future husband's going to be like, oh, yes, you can definitely have another boyfriend. But what if it was, I mean, Whoa. at the same time if, if, and vice versa, if it was like you were just a part of four other women and it, it kind of works the same way. He's like, what if I had a hard day at work and you come home and he's actually have to tend to another wife and then and you can't get that attention? That that also I'm like, a, exactly. yeah, you're going to be mad as shit. Um, yeah, I, I so feel either you. way, I don't see it working for me. Yeah. Now, I will say that I've always wanted to be a unicorn, but that's just for fun. So... <laughs> Like a horse? <laughs> a unicorn is usually a single female coming into a couple. Couple, yeah. And oh, okay. Couple. I ain't never heard that term. And it's not it's not like <laughs> a couple per se, because you're not in a relationship with them. You're just there. Are you just there to you know, do you as a play oh, okay. <laughs> a you know, unicorn. There for a, a fun time, not a long time. Harry, sing the song. And a slave. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> In the tail in the sheets, you just want to be a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to imagine being at the club, like, hey, baby, you want to be a part of this? Yeah, you unicorn. <laughs> what? That motherfucker be trampling. You unicorn right now. I don't, I don't even know how I react if someone actually brought it to me. I feel like I would have to be the person that approaches the woman and then figure it out from there. But if a guy came to me, I don't know how I would receive it. I don't think I would receive it well at all, actually. I think a male would be a lot more aggressive when it comes to something like that. Hey, you trying on a woman? Yep. <laughs> trying to be a part of this, huh? Come on. Oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a part of this. Of we course. want you. <laughs> we want you right now. Mm, that's terrible. But that's what's up, man. I mean, it's always good to get you know a woman's view on polygamy, different women's view on polygamy. So that's that's what's up. But um going back to where we came from, you know, uh, vice versa with the, uh, with the uh, scenario. Um, also attached to this, I guess this is all pretty much in the, in the same row. Something that we covered uh, back a couple episodes ago was what do we feel that it takes as a man to keep a woman? So asking you that and vice versa, how do you feel that, well, what do you feel like women should do in order to keep a man? Like, well, from your standpoint. Um, I really don't like that question, mainly because everybody is so different, different from each other. Right. Um, but have you ever heard the love languages? Yes, yes. I have. So, I've took the test a couple times. Is that a book? Times. It, it, there is a book about it, but essentially, like, and whoever's listening to this, you know, my bad. But essentially, it's they say that there's five different types of way that you can both love and prefer to receive love. Those mm -hmm. being words of affirmation, receiving gifts acts of service, physical touch, and I'm missing one. Quality time. Oh, I like no, all that. One of mine was acts of service and physical touch. Yeah. Those so were two. Always, I had three of them. Though. I forgot the last one, though. Well, you're, you're going to have, everybody's going to have all five, but there's one generally that speaks to you more than the other. Than other, yeah. Okay. So, for example, mine is physical touch. But if I'm dating someone whose words of affirmation and I'm over here touching and feeling on him, which, I mean, any man I'm sure would enjoy. Right. <laughs> and at a certain point, if I'm not giving him, like, compliments and affirming him via verbally, 
and he's not going to necessarily feel the love that I want him to feel because I'm not loving him the way that he needs to be loved and vice versa. Right. So I feel like that's a big part of it. it in addition to communication. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. Work for our sponsors. <laughs> God damn it. Can we do that? Nah, fuck that. This is raw. This is uncut. <laughs> this is authentic. I ain't cutting the goddamn thing. But moving into thing. our our next topic. Once again, Ashley, thanks for coming by. Thanks, thanks for coming. Of course, by. anytime. Rhino wanted to share a topic with us today, so I'm gonna let Rhino take it away, man. Go ahead, do your thing, man. Do your thing. So, uh, do all do all relationships need titles? Do all relationships need titles? Do you have a scenario for us? Do you have a, a, a story that you want to tell us in regards to that? Huh? You over there being somebody's sugar daddy? What you doing over there, man? I have no stories to tell. None you over there being just... somebody's play toy and you don't want the name? What, what's no going play on? To... I ain't no play toy or anything like that. Oh, I'm just man. trying to learn. Do all relationships need titles? In 2020, I would say no. But how do y'all feel? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. No, you mean shit. Most motherfuckers be fucking around. You even know they fucking around. You think they in a relationship? Ask them. They say they ain't no relationship. You know, they just friends. So they quote unquote. With that's benefits. what they call it. They just my friend. That's like what I'm I saying. said. Well, I disagree with y'all because, like, if you don't know what you are, how do you know how to treat that person in regards to her versus others or him versus others? Like, if you don't know. <laughs> I How you know she, agree. In, she in a number, huh? That's what you're saying? How you know she just ain't a number? No, I'm saying, like, you, you, when you're in a relationship, usually it's you and that one other person. If it's not, you do have a relationship with that person, and you will let them know that you're wanting to mess around with other people. But if you don't know that, and you're just out here just doing anybody, and they doing anybody, shit, y'all y'all basically strangers at that point. Like, y'all not even friends if that's all y'all there for. So the title shuts down all the bullshit is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, it's a way to not cut corners. Oh. Mm. So Most we ain't got a title. Most people don't even put a title on it today. He's serious. Mm. If but that's you like what you do. You like, you, you date them. Like, if you're dating somebody, you're not in a relationship, y'all just date. Like, that's the title for that period of time is dating because you, you can date multiple people. Fucking dating. I say I'm dating. Just saying, if like, that's, that's what we're doing. doing. Oh. No, I ain't never heard of nobody saying no dating. They either fucking or they keeping the push. <laughs> I mean, <bro. laughs> there's some great there, but I, I agree with Ron. There, there has to be, and then also for like, and I hate to do that, but so like for society reasons, like if you're my man, I need to be able to say that you're my man because I don't want nobody else over here confused about what we got going on. Mm. Title shuts all that down. It does. So if I go, if we're out somewhere and they say, oh, who, who is this? I'm going to say, this is my boyfriend or this is my fiance or this is my husband, Xavier or whatever. Now you know not to touch that shit. Xavier. Exactly. <laughs> but if I, I don't know. <laughs> Most niggas don't care. Most niggas going to be like, can he fight? That ain't your boyfriend then. <laughs> Right. Right. At, that, at that moment, wow. but they're going to pull you aside later and be like, so why didn't you tell him, especially if it was a guy that you're introducing him to, why didn't you tell him I was your boyfriend? Hey, I mean, if anybody ever asks you that question, just don't talk to them again in your life. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl in that to situation, me. we were just dating, and I was like, first off, sir, we're just dating. <laughs> mm. Um... But no, I feel like there has to be something. And I personally enjoy to have the title. I, I want to be somebody's lady. But so, um, Most of the time, these women wow. be having titles and they don't even have that title. They just take it. There has well, to be a I, I have... line of communication there when the title is given. It has to be mutual, man. I have a question mutual. for you, Ashley. I'm listening. So, let's, um, what's, your, <laughs> what's your perspective of, of a friend like he's just a friend or he's my friend. Shoot your shot, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> CJ was fucking waiting for that. <laughs> what's my what's the difference between my friend and a friend? A friend. No, you say I'm seeing a friend. What do you mean? Uh, I'm are you going that, to break that down right? a little more, G? So you know, all right, you know, you saying I'm um, like some all right. 
So uh, some women say I'm about to see a friend. I'm seeing a friend tonight, uh-huh. and I'm seeing a friend. Right. Or they say my friend. What's, if, if they, they say, say I'm friend. seeing a friend, she's about to get right. some dick. If she yeah, says exactly. my friend, there you go. those are her friends. Yep. What, what she, like you said, a friend? I'm not saying it's a dude, and she don't want to say it's a dude. Mm-hmm. She's going to get some dick. But she said, I'm going out with my friends. It's oh, shit. The girl. It's her lady friends. Oh, shit. I feel like, yes, I agree with that. But there's just so much room for, like, interpretation with a... But I can definitely say in... When I'm trying to be sneaky or I'm just not trying to be very blunt about it, then, yes, you're a friend. But... If there's somebody that I would potentially like like to be more, he probably is my friend. Um, or so actually, you just your friend. A possessive, right? So it just depends on the situation. I feel like, that but if he doesn't mean anything, then he's definitely a friend. Oh, if I'm thinking about it, you say he's just a friend. You say <laughs> he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Did they answer your question right up? Answered it. Oh man, you satisfied down there? Good. Yeah. I'm like, well, you said that, Terry. Oh, he's satisfied. <laughs> he definitely satisfied. He's trying to go to DC. Oh man, he's trying to go to DC. Damn, my ass in California. I don't know what oh, you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> no, bro, that's not about to burn down. Get out of there. Look at that smile. Oh, he's cheesing, man. He blushing a little rope. bit too. Here y'all go. Look at him. He blushing. Yeah. Yeah. I know he better than me. Go ahead, go ahead and blush <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah. Look at them cheekbones. All right. <laughs> hey, I got a question for y'all, though, moving on. So my question for you guys, which is kind of a scenario, if you want to take it that way, if y'all had a choice, okay, between your spouse, I mean, being connected to your your spouse physically or mentally, you can only choose one. <clears throat> which one would you pick and why? I got to say and why, because you motherfuckers be like, Mentally. Okay. okay. You want me to give an answer real quick? And they I'm, say, I'm, I, I, I want you I'm, to get I, deep go, with it, man. Go, I want you to get deep. I mean, mine is real quick. I'm going to just give you my quick answer. Okay, right, right. I'm going to go with mental because if I'm just having sex with you all the time and I got to deal with all the crazy and we ain't on the same wavelength, I'm going to kill myself. So I'm going to have to go with mental because <laughs> I want to be able to like talk to you and come to an understanding and not feel like I'm living with somebody I don't understand. But then your sex is just going to be like... Uh, you said we can't do physical, so we ain't gonna be fucking. That's okay. true. No, no, it's just that you're connected to them. That's the way that's, that you're connected. Oh, uh, would I rather have a better mental connection? Yeah, than a than a physical connection. Shit. Yeah. Is polygamy an option here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you, you can't have multiple. Right. That don't count. Can I keep it true? Can I keep, keep it true? Keep it true, with cuz. Keep it true. Man. He gonna say he gonna give her that that meat. Let, let me keep it all the way true. You will man. never it's, say it's, meat it's, on this podcast. I'm, I'm all about to be a little <laughs> correct. I might, you know, what I'm saying, might get some dudes smacked up with it. It is what it is. It's the truth, and it's fucking physically. In order to even get mentally, you got to get past the physical part. Don't nobody just want to be motherfuckers know what they want, and if you don't look a certain way or some a certain type, you ain't gonna even reach that mentally because you see, you, you look with your eyes first. You're not going to ever know how their personality is. You know what I'm saying? First, you can't get past the looks. And you got to be around that person for so long to even connect with them mentally. Mm-hmm. You know, and even if you do connect with them mentally, they might not still look the way you want them to. Even though y'all got this damn good chemistry, you're going to look like, God damn, this bitch fry. <laughs> and it ain't going to work, bro. It ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless you... <laughs> that I mean, like, uh, that's, you gotta be real mature for that shit to work because not only not only do you gotta worry about uh with yourself, you gotta worry about motherfuckers be worried about what other people say. They say they know, but they do. Motherfuckers like, damn boy, damn boy, that nigga fall off the edge, didn't he? <laughs> she, but she a good woman, <laughs> way good that, woman. Bro. Yeah, exactly, bro. It's, it's it's man, I'm sorry, man. I, I hate to say, but it's women too. Women yeah. know who they want. Yeah, women know who they want. They ain't about to be you no know, but they walking around with a tooth missing. <laughs> be the best dude in the world. Yo, why you messing tooth? with him? He got money. Hey, oh, okay, <laughs> could be the best dude in the world, but with that that one little blemish that that man got, she ain't gonna be able to look past that. that she ain't gonna be able to look past. Now, now she may go back to him after all them niggas that with the looks, <laughs> with the looks, did her wrong. She gonna go back to motherfucking gap tooth dude. You know what I'm saying? But it's 
expensive. I mean, ain't no wrong with no Why gap. Why you be a gap, man? I got a gap. It's, nah, I'm talking about that shit, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> this ain't nothing there. <laughs> I'm talking about every time you talk, you whistling. <laughs> do it, do it, guys, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. It's, it, 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 it is what it is, man. I mean, I had I like, like, I like that seen some couples in my life, and I was like, they must be each other's soul fucking mate because I don't know how y'all met each other. But I mean, <laughs> some people just had that mental connection first <laughs> because they do like meet online or some shit. But like, I mean, I get what you're saying. It, 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 you do need to see somebody physically and then like make you want to approach them. Like, if you don't want to approach them, you're not going to. So that physical connection does have to be there to some limit for you to even get that mental. I agree with what you're saying. I agree as well, but I don't know. I feel like I was still, part, even as somebody that I very much enjoy physical touch, and I don't mean that necessarily just sexually, but not all women. I'm not going to say, when I say this, I do not speak for all women, but a good chunk of us are emotional creatures. And for the sex to be like past good, there has to be like a mental connection there. Like I have to agree with you and feel comfortable with you on an emotional and mental level. Um, and I don't, I don't want to have trash. Well, we say we're not having sex anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. I, I would have to. I'm gonna go mental. I'm gonna go mental. Okay, but you, you can get past the physical <laughs> part. My bad, right now. Go ahead, Ryan. I'll get back to that. Go ahead. It's all, man. I ain't gonna lie. And at the end of the day, it's all about sex in a relationship. Dude, where did sex this sex come from, he man? He came in there hot. God damn, Ryan. You all right. Can't. I'm gonna just you say it's, physical. it's a physical. All about physical is sex, man. <laughs> physical is sex. No, we mean it. Are you attracted to them physically, bro? Like, attracted to them. Not just I don't know where y'all going with. <laughs> you could like just just like parts of the body that's physical. You don't have to just completely just. Yeah, not not actually. Oh, oh, oh. Splash. Okay, okay. <laughs> My nigga, just I went, like, I went, sex. I went deep into it. Okay, I went deep. <laughs> sex. Um, now what y'all talking about, nigga? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> Bust it down. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Okay, man. All right. It's all it really it really is sorry. Right. Like you said, like I, I I I said on past podcasts, like I'm all about the personality and, and all that. You which is say true. That. Which is true, but it really does have to do with the physical. I mean, does she I mean does she look good? <laughs> does she look good? <laughs> so 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 y'all basically saying you're in a relationship, right? You've been with this girl now for probably about, let's say, a couple months, okay? Um, Y'all whole connection this whole time has just been off communication. You know, you do find her attractive or she finds you attractive. Y'all both find each other attractive in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But looks isn't really what she's, like, gunning for on you. She just likes your personality and, and how you are. So y'all haven't had sex, okay? And then you get to the point where y'all do have sex, and it's just okay, does that mean it's over? Or is that just like, uh, we can work on this. You know what I'm saying? I could teach her some things or she could teach me, however way it go. Um, um, like you said, yeah, I could teach, you, teach each other things. And, but how long is that really going to last? True. So let me say, let me, let me say my piece. Go, go ahead. Uh, Back up a little bit. <laughs> I feel like with the mental connection, it comes in a physical standpoint. Now work with me, think about it real quick. In order for you to actually learn a woman's body, you have to mentally break her down. That being said, you have to learn her spots. You have to know where she is emotionally when y'all having sex or when y'all getting into it. You have to know how to get her going. She has to know how you get going, right? But you're... you're you can't say that because you're talking about you better have the greatest sex of your life with these things you're saying right now. Wait, that means it don't got to be the, the greatest sex of your life, but you still have to know what your woman likes. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you know all of her spots, you know what, what she loves, where she's at mentally. Again, 
what are we getting at, bro? Are we are we stay? You said physically and mentally, like yeah, like you going to a different type of answer. Are you oh, wait, I like, I'm, 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 okay, let's back up. Let's I'm back. confused. Let's back up. Yeah. Let's ask get out of the, the question again, standpoint. and then you answer the question that you asked. Let's, let's back up a little bit. Because if he was going on that point, then we could have had it. I would have had a different response. I was okay. going out first. One or the other. Point. One or the other. I'm going to go off one or the other. I'm going to just say mental. <laughs> I'm going to say mental because <clears throat> sex is okay. It's fun. You get you being there, done that, you know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's get let's get to the the, the the sight unseen. Okay. She got a beautiful body. You're attracted to her. You're attracted to her physical, right? Eventually that shit gets old. Or you'll see another woman that may be more endowed, and you know, you may look at that and find that attractive more than you find her attractive. It gets old. Everybody gets tired of looking at their spouse every once in a while. You ugly motherfucker. Fuck you, Nick. I know. But that's what comes from a long list of relationship. But with mental, y'all always going to have something to talk about. Y'all going to be interested in each other. You're going to engage with each other a little deeper than the physical standpoint. It's a lot more to learn about a person from a mental than it is a physical, is what I'm trying to say, if that makes sense. It does make sense. I, can I say this too? I love you. Pussy ain't gonna make a man stick around. Exactly. It's That's not. pussy ain't gonna make a man just stick around. I agree with that. Cause, cause like I heard today, uh, cause if it was um, prostitutes to be uh, married. Mm. Say that shit again. Cause they giving I'm it away. Saying, you know. <laughs> Shout out to the trio. Y'all need to check out Chill Talk, man. Come on, the mornings. But they they, they said they're really like. If pussy would keep a man, prostitutes would be married. I like that. I, I like, how I the like whole that. saying go? You can't make a whole housewife? You can't turn the whole into a housewife. Granted, granted, there are dudes that do try to marry them type of women. But down the line, they find out them girls ain't shit. I think everybody gets tired, though, man. I think yeah. you, you get tired of running around, running the streets. I think you get tired of the multiple women or multiple men. I think it all gets tired, man. It all gets tired out to the point you just want that connection with somebody. Yeah. I, I think after a while, that shit becomes work to, to keep it going. So that's why a lot of people do get yeah. tired of it. Yeah. When you do get tired out, when you finally do get tired out, you got to make sure, like you said, you got a mental connection with mm -hmm. that woman. Because if it was just sex and all that, once you get tired out, you're going to be like, man, this, this you're going to come to your sense like, man, this thing. Dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was only with her because she's beautiful. Man, I'm, you gonna look at yourself like real hard. Like, man, I be I didn't waste so much of my years with this dumb bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I, that's how you, that's how you gonna feel, man. Like you, know, like, I could have been with a woman that could have we could have elevated each other. Like now we shit, we living in my mom's basement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk about physical. <laughs> right. But it, 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 shit fall off. It's physical. Shit fall off. Good looking women will always find another dude. That yeah, is true. Right. And it's a lot easier for women than it is for men. Hey, yeah. if a woman walk up to any man and be like, hey, man, I'm trying to fucking smash, like, they got a chance that they're probably going to get that D that right then. Right there. Ashley, you Ashley do you have any say so on that? Because that's yeah. what we feel like. We feel like it's a lot easier for women than it is for guys to just, you know, go out there and find something right on the point if that's what you want. I mean, I don't think that the average man would just turn me down if I just threw it at him. But that being said, I think a lot of women are a little bit more pickier, which makes it, I feel like puts them on even playing fields because I can go to 7-Eleven and pick somebody up if I really wanted to, like, Seven Eleven. Wild stuff. <laughs> but, got a nigga in a Slurpee. Oh, we gone. <laughs> but, got everything two Slurpees Slurpee there. Two Slurpees. <laughs> I'm dead. Did he buy me the Slurpee though? Oh um, shit! See, there it go. <laughs> there it go. That picky shit. <laughs> That's picky. Did he buy my Slurpee? But at least the type of woman I am, I'm scared. Like I'm not gonna just go into anybody's car, or anybody's house, or because you don't know what kind of situation you're walking into. 
So niggas is crazy. Exactly. So being a woman, um, I feel like we have to much be better aware of our situations in general. So the odds of me just going out there and picking up some random dude are slim. But it's still easier. I'm not saying it's not easy. <laughs> I'm not saying that it happening is slim, but you know, maybe the next time someone picks on me at a 7-Eleven, then I'll join them in their car. That happened to me a couple months ago. Oh, oh shit. Man. It was a <laughs> Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. Dudes, Taco Tuesday. How many bum dudes just act? Because I'm talking about, when I say bum, I'm talking about him not matching, him got on some dusty ass clothes, or you know what I'm saying? Everybody just went out and got a woman. You don't see that, right? But you, but you can see a woman. This nigga froze, didn't? He? Nah, you, you like oh, lagging okay. a little I'm bit. You can, we you. can hear you still. You just <laughs> you kind of kind of scared me there. But nah, <laughs> <laughs> straight up, you can see a woman straight rolling out of bed in her pajamas, got a bun on, and still pull the motherfucking man. In my life, you over there with the Cookie Monster pajamas. My wife got <laughs> Cookie Monster pajamas. In my life, that, that ain't because niggas be thirsty too, yeah. Hey, niggas be thirsty, man. That's what it, it comes is. down to. We'll be some thirsty ass mm-hmm. niggas. They will holler at a chick <laughs> no matter what is going on. Yeah. You know why? Because they want that cookie. They want that wop wop. That's why. Why? Question. Not, I know not all men, but why do y'all get so offended when we reject you, though? Because if you yell at me at the gas station, AU with the blue shirt, and then I say either I ignore you or I say I have a man or I'm like, I'm going to away. Right. Like, and then you're upset. Like, well, you want that cute anyway. Well, you didn't feel like that 10 seconds ago. 10 seconds. I think it depends. Though. I, think it, I think it depends on the situation, though. Yeah, it's, it's pride. And then mm-hmm. it depends on the situation. Because some females are do it snobby. And then yeah, some females are do it respectfully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you like, hey, I, you know, how you doing? I, you know, you looking good today. I got a man. Like, damn, bitch. bitch. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just that's how, how you work. work. You I'm like, I'm fine. Are. But I, but I have seen that though. Some women would just be like, oh, I'm fine. I, I got a dude, and they're like, oh, what was? And you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good. And then they try to walk. I'm like, man, stuck up ass. Like, it's pride. Men have some men have a problem with their pride, and they have a problem with rejection because their mama probably rejected them all their life. You never know. It's always something going on, man. Hey. And I know a lot of some women do reject, like, kind of reject that at the door because if they say, like you said, uh, oh, wait, oh, I'm good, that just like, it's like, as a dude, you're like, okay, I got the door open. Now I'm about to go in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they want to stop it right then and there, but they don't have to be a goddamn bitch about it. Nah, man. It really like, is man. like that. Just like oh, man, they trying is. to get your number or get them cookies. Get them it's been plenty of times where I said I had a man, whether I did or didn't, and it's like, oh, well, you're not allowed to have friends. Why you? Why you oh, can't have no friends? You want to be with a man that won't let you have no friends? Well, nigga, See, if I was dating you, can I have friends? We covered all. See, like that's the shit that like bugs me when people like trying to holler at somebody. Like if they said no, they fucking said no. Like you asking repeatedly is not going to change the situation. Hey, y'all know who be hella constant? Them old heads at the gas station, boy. They you don't want no sugar, daddy. My nigga, you sitting at a car table at the gas. <laughs> you just asked me for change. <laughs> I got food stamps. Oh, well, how much shit. are you offering? Oh, uh, there it goes. Go. <laughs> there it go. There it go. <laughs> I would entertain them like that, but sometimes I'd be wanting to ask. Well, if you try and give me 10 grand a month, I mean, we might be able to shake something out. God, but... Damn, 10 grand. <laughs> oh, shit. She's talking about paying bills. Talk about right. her value. Why do we even need any child support? Hey, you said, you said, hey, hey, them, them girls, them OnlyFans, some of them. Oh, uh, yeah. They make that in a month. I hear Bob Mercedes <laughs> and shit out, of, out the blue. Value your value. Hey, man. <laughs> you you hate no OnlyFans women. You ain't got no WAP. Listen, I've debated it a couple times. I'm not even go for it. Hey, man, they out there making that money, man. <laughs> I'm about to just make OnlyFans and make peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I bet y'all make some money. Just sit there, just. <laughs> I bet y'all make some money. They be doing the craziest. Y'all know they coming out with a show, and Black China's the host of it. Did I tell yeah, you? Yeah, I seen that the other day. I don't want to watch shit with that bimbo as a host. <laughs> bimbo. <laughs> it's like bimbo. Hey, that I is a word to use, though. You know, I like I that shit. I never heard him say that. 
You know what? I bimbo. call her a bimbo. I call her a bimbo, but she's a hell of a motherfucking hustler. She broke Rob ass. She broke. <laughs> break a nigga. Break a, break a nigga. Break a, break a, <laughs> she broke his ass. It ain't never looked back either. Never. That's crazy because he yeah. one of the Kardashians that got it the opposite direction. Yeah, she that's fucked up. Right. <laughs> that's the fucked only up. Kardashian that got the opposite direction. Right. Hey, right. and her mama too. <laughs> her mama too. Break a nigga. Break a, break a nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Hey, she was making videos. Mama got to have a life too. Right. Well, mama got an ass too. That's crazy. Hey, man, but we are coming to the end of the show, man. Is any, do we have anything else y'all wanted to cover? Oh, Ashley, did you have something that you wanted to? We got time for it. Are you sure? Yeah, we got time for it, definitely. I um recently been seeing a lot of conversation about if body count matters on Twitter and what have not. So I just wanted to see what your guys' opinion was on a woman, I mean, particularly a woman's body count. Uh, a woman's body count. Not ours. I mean, mm. I, already, I feel like I already know what your answer is, but sure, give it to me. No, I was just asking. I was just trying to be clear because I don't want to talk about my shit. But yeah, like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to talk no, about like, my I, shit. <laughs> when when I talk to a chick, like I don't. That's not like one of the first things I ask or anything like that. But after a while, as we've been talking, like I do get kind of curious, and I would like to know. And I feel like if it was some sort of like outrageous number that I was like not expecting at all it might turn me away a little bit but like so why would you I mean, ask because i'm curious i need to know i need to know the answer do you not I mean, why do you, why do you have to know you don't want to know shit for your own the cat boo <laughs> i mean yeah it might kill that cat i want to kill this dog <laughs> it might kill that cat I don't even ask, bro. I was about to say that's never no been some one of my Very questions dang. that I would ask a woman. So I, I don't. I mean, I'm not saying it's not something I always ask. Like about exes, bro. Like yeah, like leave that shit that. in the past. Once me and you lick like, up, like, it's, it's yeah, about us. As long as that motherfucker like sometimes that. Sometimes the less you know, you less you know, the better. Yeah, and, and, and like it's not that I ask. It comes up in your head. Like someone will ask me first that I'm talking to, and then like yeah, like if you asking me, I want to, I want, I want to know your fucking answer too. Like man, because so, I'm gonna give you so, the true answer. So be if you, real. If, What's if your body asking? count? Oh, I got about twelve. Twelve. And I feel like oh. women just be lying about that a lot too. I'm not sure. I think everybody lies I about it. I think I think motherfuckers either boosted up a couple or they mm. they depleted a couple. It, it, I think everybody lies about their body count for real. Motherfuckers yeah, don't even be remembering it. You just out here just smacking cheeks. I try to count my shit up every time I'm asked, and like just like all right, yeah. Do women ask you a lot? <laughs> I mean, not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would just like I've never asked a man that, so I was kind of like, well, why would I ask you that? No, not now. I mean, I'm with somebody. I ain't been asked that shit in a while. So, uh, well, well, back in the day, have over the years, have women has that been a prominent question for you? I mean, I was asked by many different women that I was like in talking to, like throughout us talking, like not at the beginning of our conversation, or not at the end, but it's like it's just something that comes up. I'm asked. I'll give you the answer. I would like the same answer back. Well, well not the same answer. Like, your fucking true answer. Like he a gigolo or something. Yeah, man, <laughs> I'm many not. Women, many I'm women, many times. A many a time. There you go. A many no, a time I've been asked. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that I sleep with everybody that asks either. It's just like, if you're curious and you want to know shit, I'm going to give you an answer. I feel like that question comes up in games, game nights and shit. Like that's the only lot, time it yeah. really comes up. Yeah, like, that's when you take a shot and just keep it moving. Yeah, let's play body counts. Yeah, like, yeah, you better hit that shot because you might turn that night straight ugly. Right, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, feel like Deja, I feel like Deja Pills. I think the first thing I would do is have one protected stick with Mrs. Gangbang over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was that was on one of the skits. <laughs> We're done, man. <laughs> Are you talking about that, uh, that fucking news interview? <laughs> His insecurities no, kicked in hella quick. Remember Real Sex? What's it called? Yeah, real they, sex? It was real That's sex. what that was. Yeah, that's what that, yeah, it was that interview. Yeah. That shit's funny. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's not to know. It's, that's not to know, man. Yeah. That's a conversation starter for singles, I feel like. Not, yeah. not, not if you, you know, if that's somebody that you're interested in. I don't think. You that's know. one of them bar questions. Yeah, you at the bar. Like, Girl, I'm drunk. How many bodies? You come here often? Yeah, you, you, look, somebody you look like you about 20 in. You got to call me all something. Nah, baby, it's a compliment. <laughs> I would be furious if someone asked me at the bar and I don't even know you. 
Yeah, that's weird though, ain't it? It's weird. That question, like, I feel like that question itself is weird. Like, why do you need to know how many people I've had sex with? Like, that don't, it, it just seemed like a weird ass question. Like, why would you even ask me that? How many times have I tied my shoes? It, it, it don't make no <laughs> sense. Like we, like, we dating and shit, like, for real, be real. How, how many people you done slept with? I'm like, See, that, that's one of them questions you get after somebody went through your phone. I feel like if you ask me that, you already feel like I'm a hoe. Like, at that point. You just feel like I'm a hoe. <laughs> no, you're my one and only. You're my first. Something about you ain't right. How many bodies you got? I'll That's how I feel. Down. If it gets to a point that you ask me now, I'm kind of questioning what you think yeah, about like what? Because yeah, if I'm I give to, you I'm my about number, to your body you count, like, it's too hot or you think that I'm lying. Like, there's really no middle ground for it. Nah, it's, so, see, it's an ongoing thing. Y'all going to be like, well, since you don't want to tell me, like, what the fuck you mean? I don't want to... <laughs> now you just ruined your whole night. you don't ruin the whole point. night. Yeah, y'all going to go home. I might as well separate. It ain't gonna be no mental connection. <laughs> that shit don't. That's all you think about. Talk to about now. <laughs> you got bodies on top of bodies you don't want to tell me. <laughs> now I'm mad because I don't really know. <laughs> That's crazy leave though. Alone. Leave it alone. If I agree, leave that shit alone. Leave that shit alone, man. That ain't something that a man. I don't feel enjoy, like a man should enjoy, never enjoy, ask Enjoy your person. life. Just enjoy like the life. age. Like I don't I don't feel like women should be asked their age unless y'all are like super close friends and it's like damn for real man how old are you like that's one of them things like you know except for me you can't be 26 all your life you know and look this good i'm just saying but whatever here you go <laughs> but whatever an hour ago you were 22 but it's cool 27 man i'm 27 <laughs> somebody, somebody gonna be in the comments like no, you know damn well you ain't no <laughs> somebody gonna hate on you somebody gonna hate on me cuz why they be hating on me cuz i'll be 26 yeah, for the rest of my Hater, life hater said he ain't yeah, 27 hell yeah shit but we are coming to the end of the show man anything y'all want to go over that, that y'all want to you know say to the people before we get up out of here i'll let y'all take it off okay well i guess no one <laughs> say anything till i just well, remember you start it off and i go second yeah oh, I got you. remember don't ask about the body count because your feelings might get hurt yeah, damn right. <laughs> She'll she be knocking them down. <laughs> exactly. And don't forget to check out theblackgent.com. Say it one more time for you, motherfuckers. Theblackgent.com. Link, link below. Link in the description below. Yeah. So, like, uh, yeah. Don't let uh, curiosity hurt your relationship, as <laughs> it was just pointed out to me by everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, and I hope everybody out in California is being safe. Uh, staying away from the hot shit. And uh yeah, I mean, hope they get that shit out soon. That was pretty straight to the point. Right. <laughs> hot I mean, yeah, shit. I want to, if it's hot, don't touch it. <laughs> Duh, nigga. <laughs> it's just smoky, there. You think they out there because they want to be? Like niggas is just out there in the fire. Like, why me? No, nigga. They they're by running. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> First off. First off, I want to say happy birthday to my mom. And happy birthday, Mama Rhino. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And fuck a body count. Don't ask the question. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, Rhino been knocking him down. That's why he said that. Knocking yeah. him down. Is it my is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Go ahead. Hi. Um, <laughs> um figure out your love languages. You can Google it for you. Five, one, two, three, yeah. Um, four. Four? I can't count. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, like, what? All my screens up here. says Ron has two different screens. But uh, anyway. yeah. Don't tell him my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's not on my end. <laughs> my bad. Anywho, figure out your love languages, figure out the love languages of people around you, and thank you guys for having me. Not a problem. Well, we not appreciate problem. you coming <laughs> on. And once again, if you a lady out there and you want to come on the show, either to promote yourself or to promote your business, make sure you DM us. Hit us up on Instagram at Get It Off Your Chest Podcast, YouTube, Get It Off Your Chest Podcast, Facebook, Terry, the host of the show, Snapchat, however y'all want to go about it, man. We'd love to have you on an upcoming episode. And we appreciate Miss Ashley for coming by, sharing her views and opinions with us today, because I know we're we're four hard motherfuckers to get along with. But we funny as shit, yo. We, we hilarious. <laughs> Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you heard. Huh, cuz. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a what. About to get it off your chest podcast.
Go. <laughs> Every time. Okie doke, man. That's what I told y'all, man. <laughs> and we need, to, we need to really get our outro, man. Our outro be crazy. We be confused. <laughs> but we out, y'all, man. Get off your chest podcast, man. You got it on your mind, partner. Get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, partner. Get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, partner. Get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, partner. Get it off your chest.